this video, we're going to continue taking our bird's eye view look at Pro Tools and answering the question, what can you do with Pro Tools? So remember from the first video, for the sake of simplicity, we are dividing our overview look into three basic categories, audio capabilities, MIDI capabilities, and mixing. And the purpose of this lesson, again, is really just a way to look ahead at what you're going to be able to do with Pro Tools. So let's continue right where we left off. We've already taken a look at some of the audio capabilities of Pro Tools. Now we're going to talk about some of the MIDI capabilities. Now, if you're not familiar with the term MIDI, MIDI is an acronym that stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. And without going too deep into it, MIDI has revolutionized the way people make music. And in fact, MIDI has made it possible for people who previously could not make music to make music and to make really pro sounding music. So MIDI is one of the most valuable tools that musicians and producers have available today. And Pro Tools has a ton of MIDI functionality. First and foremost, Pro Tools has the ability to record MIDI. It is a full-blown MIDI recorder. Pro Tools also gives you a number of very powerful MIDI editing features. Now, if you're familiar with the basics of MIDI, probably the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of MIDI is a MIDI keyboard or a drum machine. Typically, when we're talking about MIDI, we are talking about musical instruments. Well, up until a few years ago, if you wanted a MIDI instrument, something like a synthesizer or a sample player or a drum module, you had to buy a physical piece of hardware. But these days, you no longer need to go and buy that expensive hardware to get a MIDI instrument because Pro Tools allows you to use virtual MIDI instruments. In fact, Pro Tools comes with a whole collection of great sounding virtual instruments. So that's yet another thing that you can do with Pro Tools is make music with virtual instruments. Now included in Pro Tools MIDI functionality is the ability to transcribe your MIDI performances, so performances of music using MIDI instruments, as notation, and then edit that notation using the score editor. So another thing you can do with your Pro Tools system is create and edit and print musical notation. Why don't we go over to Pro Tools and take a look at some of these MIDI features in action. Okay, so we're back in the same Pro Tools session that we were using in the last video, and everything is pretty much identical. So I'll just play this bit of music through so you can remember what we're working with, and then we'll find some way to incorporate MIDI in virtual instruments into this session. Okay, so just a four bar drum and piano loop. Now we talked about the fact that Pro Tools is a MIDI recorder or a MIDI sequencer. And so in Pro Tools, when we want to record MIDI, we're going to set up a track that is capable of recording MIDI. In this case, I've already done that. I've created an instrument track and I've set up on this track one of the virtual MIDI instruments that I was talking about. In this case, it is the Expand 2 instrument that comes with Pro Tools 8. And so let's use this instrument and record some MIDI. Now, the Expand 2 instrument gives you access to hundreds of sounds. But for the sake of this example, I'm going to select one of the string sounds. So I will go in here and select it from the menu. There we go. And so I mentioned that Pro Tools is a MIDI recorder. So what I'm going to do is record a little MIDI performance playing this string sound in the expand from the MIDI controller keyboard that I have connected to Pro Tools that's sitting next to me. Okay, so there we go. Just a little sort of cinematic string part to go along with our piano. And now let's take a look at what we've actually recorded here. If you look closely, what you're seeing here are individual note events. When you record on a MIDI track, you're actually recording MIDI events. So we can click and select and hear any single event we want. So 
So using this MIDI performance, let me give you a few examples of what you can do with MIDI in Pro Tools. So I've recorded in this part, and I purposely played something that was very rhythmic because I wanted to show you one of the most commonly used MIDI editing features, and that simply is correcting your timing. I'll play back the performance as I recorded it so you can hear exactly what was played in. Okay, so let's say you want to take this performance now and you want to make it so that every single note is locked to a perfect 16th note on the Pro Tools grid. You would just select these notes, call it the Quantize window, and apply. Now when we play it back, let's see if it sounds any better. Okay, so already the timing is a lot tighter than the way I played it in. Now I also mentioned that Pro Tools 8 includes a score editor, so let's take a quick look at that. And so here's the score editor window, and what you're looking at is musical notation that was created by Pro Tools as I played in the MIDI notes from the keyboard. So each one of the notes on this staff corresponds to a MIDI event. If I hit play, we'll get the exact same performance. Now this is more than just a musical score that you can print out. If you wanted to, you could use this window to edit the performance. So say for example you like this part, but you wanted to put it an octave higher. Well, you could select all of the notes, call up another MIDI editor, in this case we'll call up the event editor that allows us to transpose, and we'll select an octave higher, hit apply, and now we've just transposed the whole performance up by one octave. I'll play it again. Okay, now let's say you like the part, but you don't like the sound. One of the greatest benefits of MIDI is that once you have a performance, you can send that performance to any sound you want. So we'll keep it in the expand for now, but why don't I call up a different sound? Since it's a faster rhythmic part, we'll call up a percussive sound. And now we'll try the exact same part with a different sound. All right, so there you go. Just a quick look at how MIDI can help you as you are developing your song ideas and working in your Pro Tools sessions. So in the next video, we'll take a quick overview of some of what you can do using the mixer, automation, and plugins when you are mixing. So I will see you there. Mm -hmm.